Hi, it's Amanda. Welcome to my channel. This will be my first week reviewing Inasi Naturals in my B.O.B. 123 series. That's black owned brands only, three wash day reviews, three styles, three company and or founder facts per video. Fact one, the founder and CEO's name is Rhonda Marshall and I've actually interviewed her on my channel in the past, uh, probably like a year ago or so, so I will link that in the cards. Fact two, she is a chemist by trade and also has natural hair, so she's got the chemistry background and the background as a customer. Fact three, she created this collection to accommodate hair from slightly wavy to tightly coiled. That is a very, very wide range, so I am very interested to see what kind of moisture retention I get from these products because I consider wavy versus tightly coily two very different hair types with very different needs, requiring, for instance, more moisture in general for more kinky, coily types. I do have what looks like a pre-poo from this brand, the Pamper My Curls Hair and Scalp Elixir. One of the ways you can use this is to apply before shampoo to detangle hair. Sounds like, you know, a pre-poo. Massage into your scalp is needed to soothe dry, itchy scalp. But I'm actually going to be, this first week at least, continuing to use my Negan's Banda, was it the Chebe pre-poo? Because that's what I'm working through right now. I do want to compare that to this. So yeah, one more week on that. And then next week I will try that out for the first time. So I will be using the Soothing Mint Clarifying Shampoo. And I actually do have two shampoos and one co-wash. So I will try one each week. Restorative Hair Mask. The Pamper My Curls All-in-One Leave-In Moisturizing Mist. I'm a little bit skeptical of mists as well because I need something. I tend to like thicker products. And the Rock Your Curls Curl Enhancing Cream. My three weeks of reviews. It's normally twist out, braid out, and then now it's actually gonna be like big braids, like four braids, uh, six braids, instead of me spending like an hour braiding my hair. I tried this out for the first time in my Negas Banda week three review, and it was a pretty cool, um, or rather it was more just a time-saving thing. One thing to mention though, in my last video, I talked about incessant just like knotting of my ends. And I've been talking about this pretty much since I big chopped my hair for, so for, over two years at this point. And one of my subscribers mentioned that at this point, I really need to get a haircut, a hair shaping. It's a fair point. I honestly don't think that trimming my hair is gonna get rid of the knots because in the past, I guess it was like when I first chopped my hair, my ends for some reason just always seem to knot and be extra dry, even post trim. So I don't know if that's necessarily why, but I do desperately need a shape. I have been very aware of that recently. What I need to find is a natural hairstylist or a, you know, a curly cut specialist who would do a home visit because I'm not going into a salon yet. And I also don't have time to, so I kind of need someone to come here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find that in my area or really in any area. So I've been passively looking for that, but that kind of research requires time and I haven't found that. I do want to be more protective of my hair until I can actually get a good cut. That was more just an update. There's not really a point. I'm still gonna be doing my twist out this week, but I'm just, it's just something that I'm so aware of right now. Cause like, you know, I saw the comments, I already knew it on my own, but like seeing it in writing and being like, you need a haircut. I do need a haircut. So thank you, Melissa, for that. And I am trying something new for this wash day for my twist out. I'm always complaining about how it takes forever and a day to style my hair. Twists being the one that takes the most time. And this is not my idea, although it did naturally come to it in my like thought process. But I know African Beauty for on YouTube, for instance, does this. But I'm going to wash my hair and twist today, I think. So I actually did um, twist one of these sections a couple days ago just because I was... I don't remember why I did, but I did. I'm going to do this during my pre-poo process. So even if I don't have to do like 60% of them that would be a huge thing. And oh, I think I did this because I'm just, with the whole nodding, it's like, it's protective. I'm not going to do this on camera, but during my pre-poop process, I am going to just like fully detangle because I know someone else, I don't remember who it was, mentioned that I have not been detangling my hair, which is true. I'm always saying I don't detangle my hair. I detangle it as I can throughout the process and the products that I used last time just didn't happen to be slippery in my hair. So I couldn't really detangle my hair. But I'm going to take the time, although I'm not going to take more than 40 minutes. I'm going to set a timer. Whatever I do in 40 minutes, that's it. Because I also don't want to spend like an hour and a half pre-pooing my hair. So yeah, this is going to be experimental. I'll let you know how it goes. And I'll make sure that, yeah, I can access hair enough to give you a full review. I will be back when it is time to review the shampoo. And that's pretty much it. I'll be, I'll be back. It took nearly three hours 
yeah, I think about three hours to twist up all of my hair. So I'm not really all that keen on taking any of these out. Couple thoughts though, I didn't do my starter braids because it wasn't a style, it was more of a twisting so I could prep my hair for washing it. And I did notice that the starter braids that I do, they really do create elongation. My twists are a little bit stretched now because they're wet and because I stretched them with a hair thing, but you know, it does make a difference. And for those of you who are new again, a starter braid is just like, when I do twists, I first start with a braid to stretch it a little bit and then like, you know, a little bit weighs down, I'll start doing my twist. Um, second thing, yeah, this is like three and a half hours. So I was, I guess technically I could take them out and do my starter braid and do like my real twist, but let's just see how this works. This process was just, it took too long, too, too, too long. I didn't fully detangle my hair like to the roots because again, this took three and a half hours and I lost patience. I would say for me, is it's, it's not acceptable. Keeping my hair in a puff like that, it gets so, so matted. My ends were so incredibly matted and it's because I was not really protecting my hair. I am not supposed to wait three and a half weeks to wash my hair. That's just a matter of circumstance. It's an unfortunate thing. It's not like it's never gonna happen again, but that's why that was. At least I understand why what's happening is happening. And I'm hoping this is gonna be a quick process now because my goodness, it took long to prep my hair to wash it. I'm, and to be completely honest, I am done with wash day at this point because I just spent, I've said it like seven times, three and a half hours. I want it to just be done. So I am not untwisting my hair. That's just, that's, I'm not doing it. Another reason also that I didn't do the starter braid is that I'm washing my hair. My intention here is to wash my hair. So I want to be able to get into my roots and it's harder to do that with a braid. So, and if I'm not going to do my braid tightly, then what's the point of doing it in the first place? So anyway, Soothing Mint Clarifying Shampoo. Okay, it looks like a gel, like a clear gel. It smells very minty. Soothing Mint, all right. Let's see if it's soothing, because I mentioned in my last, I think during my Negus Bonder review, that I've been liking soothing shampoos. Okay, I do, it is kind of hard to get in there. Oh, that's annoying. Not stripping, by the way. This is clarifying, and one might expect a clarifying product to be stripping. This is not stripping. I am being very delicate and gentle with my roots, again, because I don't want to disrupt the twist too much, but I wanna make sure that I also do get in there. Sorry, let me read the instructions. I'm going at a mile a minute because I don't have that much time left at this point, so I can't spend an hour and a half in here. Apply product to wet hair, massage into scalp, and rinse hair thoroughly. Follow up with our soothing, I'll follow up with what I have next. So it's on the hair, I'm pressing it in, because again, since it's in twist, I wanna make sure that I do in fact get inside my hair. When I had the braids and I was washing the braids for like six weeks, I was still cleaning my scalp, I was cleaning my hair. So I'm not, it's not like you can't get in there. It is easier when you have a nozzle, that's not gonna work. It is easier when you have a nozzle, but it's not impossible without. While clarifying, it's not stripping, it's actually pretty, it's very gentle, it's soft. It's not like tingly as you would expect like a really strong mint to be, but maybe that's because I haven't gotten it on my scalp enough. <laughs> no, it's on my scalp. I can feel it, but it's not like, it's not tingly. I was thinking that I could work in two sections instead of four because with the twists, it's such a neater process. Like it feels a lot less stressful and it should be quicker to wash my hair for that reason but doing it in two sections still felt like just a little bit too much. I did really enjoy washing my hair in braids. That was, that was really, really great because it was such a quick process. Okay, so the shampoo, I like it. I don't know if it's soothing. I will let you know if I feel soothing as I go through the other sections. I'm not quite there yet, but it feels good. My hair strands feel nice. And um, I'll be back for the deep conditioner and to let you know if I have anything else to say about the shampoo. Meanwhile, I like it though. It's good. It feels cleansing, but not stripping, which is always a nice little medium to um, traverse. Just realized I am gonna have to take out all of these twists and put them back in because how am I gonna apply the styling products? But still, twisting a resection twisted hair back, it's, it's, I mean, it's annoying. It's, it's not nothing, but it's, it's not a long. It's, that's, it'll, it, won't, it shouldn't take too, too long. I'm gonna time it. Anyway, my hair feels nice. It feels nice. Um, I don't know if it's soothing, but it's refreshing. When you apply it to the front part of your hair, 
the mint is, is very strong. You do feel it in your eyes. But my hair feels very soft, not at all stripped, not at all. I did shampoo the other half all at once because it seemed very easy to do. The great thing about washing your hair in braids or twists is that it's so manageable and neat so you can get away with doing more things and not creating tangles. Restorative hair mask. Section clean wet hair, apply a generous amount of product from root to tip using your fingertips or wide tooth comb to detangle. Allow product to sit for five minutes. Rinse thoroughly with cool water, no. For best results, cover hair with a plastic cap then apply moderate heat, okay, for up to 30 minutes. Rinse thoroughly. For steamer, sit with hair uncovered. The steam will add extra moisture. Okay, so I'll use my conditioning cap for 30 minutes. It smells nice, I like it. <sighs> smells like a very familiar smell, which I can't at all place. It kind of smells like coconut butter, vanilla, like a little bit of something like minty or soury, but like a very small amount. For me, the dominant smell is cocoa butter. Okay, it's thicker than I thought it would be based on, I don't know what, just like, I guess, looking at it. It's not incredibly thick, but it's a nice consistency. I like it. Somewhat unique, actually. All right, and I'm just gonna apply it to this whole section. Look at that. Um, okay, it's not very smoothing yet. No, I'll take out this front piece. It feels nice. I don't know if it's slippery, but it feels really nice. Nourishing. Some products feel nourishing. Oh, okay, it does It does have a good amount of, it does have a good amount of slip. It feels very nice. Smooth, definitely smoothing. This is not detangled. I do feel like the hair in front is a lot, or it's not as strong as the rest of my hair. I do find that the, like the way fronts of my hair, although it's gotten a lot better, as you can see, I mean, like I used to have little wisps up here. Now I actually have a little bit of length. All right, I'm not gonna untwist any other sections because no, for the deep conditioner, I will do it obviously when I am styling my hair. But I just wanted to see what it was like. It's, it's smoothing, it feels nourishing. It, I don't, actually, I don't know if it has slip, but it does make it easier to detangle. I guess, I don't know if by definition that means slip, but I feel like some products are actually slippery, where some are, some are moisturizing enough that it makes it easier for you to detangle, and I feel like it falls in that category versus saying it's slippery. Like if you've ever used the Duck Curls Dynasty Give Me Slip, that's slippery. Like it feels like, you know what slippery means, and I've said it three times. I'll wrap that back up. I'm gonna apply a little bit more. I do want to make sure I do enough, just given I am not applying it directly to the hair. I only want to press it in. And then I'm hoping it'll like seep in when I, when I apply heat. It's like my poodle twist. A French poodle, not a toy poodle, because they don't have hair like that. So that's it. I'm going to go and rinse and deep condition the other side. I'm gonna go sit with heat for no more than 30 minutes because I don't have all day. And then I'll be back to rinse out and then we'll test out the styling products. I did not concentrate on the ends this time because it's just like, it's, it's a different mindset. I'll be back. It's been about 45 minutes. I used my conditioning cap and that probably at this point stays warm for like 20 minutes. I say at this point because I feel like it used to um, retain heat for a lot longer. Okay, let us take down. All right, I did two sections. I, I like the way it looks up here. And it was some good absorption. Hair feels very soft. Very, very soft. I like this. Good, good, good. So I'm going to rinse this out. Feels nice under the water, even softer. I just realized these are my cooking gloves. <laughs> okay. And I don't see a whole bunch of product caked in here. So the rinsing is working. <laughs> Although you could also argue on the other side that I'm just not getting product in there. But it feels very good. 
it feels like it was it had some kind of treatment because my hair was not soft when I got started. I'm gonna do the first two on camera because this section is too small to really give too much feedback. So my hair feels really good though, by the way. So it definitely got the products on it. Pamper My Curls All-in-One Leave-In Moisturizer Mist. Spray evenly on wet or dry hair, scrunch hair, and flip hair upside down to create volume. I'm not gonna do that. Great detangler can be applied before or after shampooing to melt away tangles, so this could also be a pre-poo. Can be used as a thermal primal before heat styling. Can be used to refresh curls, moisturize, and nourish the hair and scalp during protective stylings. So just twist, spray, glue them. Help keep locks moisturized without weighing them down. Avoid contact with eyes, I assume, because there's mint in here. No mint. Okay, but yeah, keep it out of your eyes. For external use only, so don't eat it and don't insert it anywhere. You gotta read your children. Interesting. Okay, I don't know how to open this. Unlock. Oh, okay. So it's one of those things where you push it. All right, it really is a mist. I was thinking it was gonna spray out like a cream. It smells very lemony. What's it doing? It's smooth. I like it. I actually, I thought it was going to be not stripping, but like, I thought it was going to create some kind of like a, un, some kind of a disagreeable film on my hair strands. Because normally when I use a spray, it's just, even on contact, it just kind of like mangles my hair. But this feels nice. It's not as soft as it was when I first sprayed it on. Next, I'm going to layer on the Rock Your Curls Curl Enhancing Cream. So here's what it looks like. It smells kind of like the mist, like very lemony. All right, it's a lot thicker than I was expecting. Kind of like PC also. Like PC, like the little pieces, like, you know what a piece is. This is, I like this, this is slippery. And it feels nice. Slippery and smooth. Sorry, I forgot to read what it does. Although it makes your hair slippery and smooth, I can tell you that right now. Section wet or damp hair, apply product from root to tip. Do not rinse out for soft, hold, and lasting curls. Blah, blah, blah. Pair with coconut avocado curl defining custard. I did not get that, so. You know what, let me get the glaze. Why don't I try that out now? I gotta go get it. Curl sculpting glaze. I'm only using this because it says to layer on that custard, and since I don't have the custard, it suggests that there's not enough of a hold. That's what it looks like. That smells nice. Like a sucking candy, which <laughs> can smell a lot of different ways. But like a, um, like a, like a fruit punch sucking candy, maybe. But not, not very fragrant. And Curl Enhancing Cream was very slippery. This is a little bit slippery too. I like these styling products a lot so far. Let's wrap this back up because it's supposed to be quick. I do think that having pre-sectioned already twisted hair, although I don't know if the twisting helps retwist it in terms of time spent, but I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna time it. I think it normally takes me about an hour, hour and 10, anywhere from 55 to, an, uh, to 70 minutes to, I like this one out. It's my cue to wrap this up to twist up my hair, so I'll see how long this one takes. All right, it's 5.35 p.m. For the bottom of my coils don't look great, I'm actually just going in and snipping a little. It's the least I can do until I get an actual trim. All right, so here's my first one. Ugh, okay. I'm gonna do the second one on camera, but I'm not gonna like talk through it, because I, I, really, I really gotta get moving. I already forgot what time it is, so it's a good thing. <laughs> I said it in the video, right? I'm silently panicking right now because this is really tangled. I'm glad I'm recording this because it's keeping me honest, or rather on task. And my task is to not just like rip through my hair right now because I'm getting really, 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 really frustrated. But I'm keeping it inside. It's probably not good for me emotionally. Here we go, okay. This section, while it's giving me grief, lots of grief and anger, actually feels pretty good. Okay, I said I wasn't gonna talk through this one, so I'm gonna stop talking. I'm just gonna find my product, twist it up, get off camera and move on. Oh, I didn't apply the leave-in, oh my God. I just wanna be done. Mist, 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 mist. 
and it just sprayed some in my mouth. This is why I don't like to use tools. This twisting before washing my hair thing, I during my pre-poo process, when my hair is not a tangled mess at the beginning, is actually going to be good for my schedule, I think, because now I'm gonna be pre-pooing the night before. It works well with the Chebe pre-poo because it says specifically it can be used overnight. I don't know if everything can, so. I don't think there's any pre-poos that are gonna like damage my hair if I keep them in overnight. I'm gonna cut that. It'll look pretty. I'm gonna go do the rest. Wish me luck. 6.59, so I'm pretty sure that took like an hour and 20 minutes. Problem is, I don't know what happened while I was pre-pooing, but I think my hair was so tangled and matting from wearing it the way that I was wearing it that it, it was just like a really bad process. So somehow my twists were really mangled, so I couldn't just like take them out, put in the product, put it back in. Plus my gloves got really wet inside somehow, so my fingers are killing me. I had to do the last three without gloves on. So I'm like done, I'm done with this whole process. And luckily I'm done with this whole process for now. I actually need to take my hair out tomorrow. So I don't know how that's gonna happen. Maybe I'll have to stay up late tonight and just sit under the dryer. Problem I have with the somewhat disorganization considering I didn't have clean parts when I was doing my twists is I had trouble, like if I accidentally dropped a twist that I was about to untwist and then, you know, set, it kind of got lost with everything else. I tried to keep separate the ones I had already done, but I was also at the same time keeping separate the ones that I hadn't done. And if I dropped one, I didn't know which side it was in because <laughs> I didn't work in section section. Like I just, uh, anyway, point is next time I have to be more aware because the ones that are finished and the ones that haven't been started yet look exactly the same. So that was an issue. I'm going to wrap up my hair in a silk scrunchie and sit under the dryer when I can because I have quite a morning tomorrow. I need my hair out. Overall, like the styling products, let's see how this comes out. This is my first unstretched twist out. Unstretched because I didn't do my starter braid. As you could tell, it's shorter than it normally is, so. I don't remember why I was originally supposed to come back the next day and like rush dry my hair, but that didn't happen. It rained two days this week and I saw that in the forecast after I'd done my hair, so I, so I didn't want to. I, wouldn't want, I didn't want to take my hair out knowing that it was going to rain for two days and Aiden's birthday party was actually today so I wanted to have it looking decent for his party so I am taking it out now as always I'm in a rush so I'm gonna take out the first one on camera and then I will take out the rest and come back doing? my twists do feel Ooh, very what am I doing? getting my hair I'm fix fixing my hair my twists do feel really really soft they're really really fuzzy but I don't pay them much mind. It's very possible that this is all just because of me and I wasn't careful. I do still sleep on silk, but I don't really do anything else. Like I don't secure it or anything. So what happens, happens. Do you have to put blankets? Um, not at the moment. So here are my first two. Not much to write home about yet, but let's take them all out and see what happens. I think it bears stressing that my hair is really, 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 really soft and like pillowy. Feels real good. Okay, pre-separation, I'll be back. All right, this is like an interim stop, I think, because I don't think my hair is done. I think it needs a little bit more finessing and styling, but Aiden has a play date in 11 minutes and I have to finish setting up for his party. So I gotta go. So I'm probably gonna continue to just like do things while I'm like going through the day. It actually doesn't look bad. It did like five seconds before I was ready to jump back on camera. It, it's not bad, but I do think I'm gonna come back a little bit later. It'll be after having been outside for a couple of hours. It is really hot, pretty sunny. I don't know about the humidity, but you'll see it, you know, a couple hours later and I can actually give you some thoughts because I don't have capacity to think at the moment. The only thing I will say right now is that my hair feels really 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 soft my hair likes the products definitely they just feel so good these aren't the best twist out results i've gotten oh they're not bad i'll be back later probably tonight to give you my final thoughts i don't think i want to show you a day removed having slept on it because i'm probably just going to actually wear it in a uh 
It has been about seven hours. I actually didn't end up touching my hair or doing much of anything at all like with my hair. I don't know what I would do other than touch it. Uh, and all that time. So it kind of just ballooned out on its own. And I actually think it looks pretty great now. I thought I was going to have to do some separating and something in order to get it to where I liked. But the humidity did it for me. So that was pretty cool. And I think it looks great. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I might just put it in two like pigtails at the back. I don't really want to put it up. I don't, I don't know why. I just, I just don't. I'm a little nervous. I'm not nervous. I'm a little disappointed to be going to sleep soon because I think this is going to be the... I, I actually think my hair looks really great right now. It's so soft. Week one was definitely a big success. So that brings me to the end of this video. Let me know if you've tried Anasi Naturals. I do have a discount code for them, I think. I'm going to check. I'll put it in the description box. I know I had one a while back. I don't know if it expired or, or what have you. But in case it hasn't, give it a shot. I think it's 15% off. And again, sorry, I will. it'll be in the description box and I can pin a comment too. Thank you for watching. If you like my content and haven't done so already, please consider subscribing, like, comment, and share, and I'll talk to you in my next one. Thanks, and have a good one.